So, Dean, good morning to you. So, so what happened on this day, then? You missed the slot, did you, by 10 minutes? Morning. Uh, no, I actually didn't miss the slot. The delivery driver phoned and said he would be an hour... Uh, you know, in an hour's time, he would be with me, and then turned up early. So when I returned to the house from work, um, he was just driving away. He, he took him about 40 minutes to get there. OK, so he's driving away and you suddenly realise that that is your delivery on his van. Then what did you do? Uh, well, he was on the phone to me at the time, so he pulled over. Um, I sort of was begging him to get him to come back. He said no. When he's pressed the button on the uh, on the, on the computer, whatever it is, the, you know, the, the mattress, it has to be rescheduled and that's it. It was as simple as that. And I, I said, well, you know, I, I located him because he was only at the top of the road. So I located him, pulled in front of him and, and tried to persuade him uh, to let me have the mattress. You know, I'd sign anything, but it was to no avail, really. Well, he, so, I mean, you've got to say that th throughout what happens next, it was all very calm. It, well, it wasn't argumentative from what we've been led to believe. Um, and so, uh, so what did you do next? It, it was. It was. It was. I was quite uh, calm. About it. I spoke to his boss. Begged his boss. You know, said, "Look, I can practically smell my mattress. You know, you've got to let me have it. Um, you know, I've driven all the way here to get it." Um, so I asked him if I could have a look at it to establish that it was a mattress. In fact, uh, and while he was on the back of the van, I, I walked down the side and took the keys away uh, from the ignition of his van. So and, you took um, him hot hostage for the mattress, essentially. Sorry? You essentially took him hostage for the mattress. <laughs> yeah, he, he was going to sit with me until I got my mattress, basically. Um, well, he called yeah. his boss, then they called the police, then the police arrived, so you're in something of a standoff. Yeah, yeah, the, the police... The lady, the policeman was quite cross. She, she didn't really have a lot of sympathy for me. Um, but I was uh, determined to have my mattress, so I, I stood my ground and said, look, you know, I'm not giving you the keys back until I get my mattress. It, it seems quite simple to me. You know, just throw the mattress on the floor, even. I'll walk it home on my head. You know, it, it's, it was the, you know, I had a trailer on the back of my Land Rover, so I had to just put it on the trailer. It's, it's Why, really, um... really simple, isn't it? Why couldn't you just but... wait for the next day? Um, because, because of the confusion with him already turning up early, um, I could have missed him again for the rest of the week, couldn't I? So I just thought, you know, and while you're looking at this, this van with the mattress in it and you've already driven that way to get it and it's, a, you know, it's paid for, it's a three or yeah. three and a pound mattress. It, it, it just seemed logic to me to give me the mattress and so I... They, and they did... They caved in the end, did yeah. they? Mm. Yeah, they did. I mean, in the end, they, they did exactly what I asked them to in the beginning, which is if I can sign a job sheet or something to say that I've received it, then we all go away happy and he's got 19 drops to do or 20 drops to do instead of 21 drops, I think he had. So... But, but, yeah, right. I mean, the, the, the delivery drivers were nice people. It, there was not... I wasn't any kind of animosity to them. It was purely the fact that, you know, logistically, it did not make sense to drive back to Taunton with did you, give, did you give them a tip? I did. I, I offered them a drink at the end. Um, they, they declined it. I think they were... Um, you know, frustrated by the old thing, but... Well, let's hope I, you I don't have happy. to return it, cos that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, listen, thank you for joining us. Have a, have a happy Christmas to you.